I do a lot of group coaching. And one of the things that's been really popular in the group coaching, which I would not have thought it would be, would be hot seats where you actually talk about uh, either pitching an idea to the group and then you get feedback from it. So this last week, one of the people in the group talked about an experience they had where they ended up reaching out to somebody that they wanted to be on their board. They actually ran an association of industries that were in his target industry. So it was a target rich environment to be sure. But he reached out to the executive director. He got voicemail and I want to read the uh, voicemail that he left. And then I want to talk about that because I think it's really indicative of something I see all the time and hopefully helps you. Hello, my name is so-and-so. The reason I'm calling you today is because I am principal in a venture to consolidate the question mark industry, although he didn't have a question mark there. We're assembling a world-class board of directors, which will be augmented with excellent legal and accounting representation. Founding board members will never be asked to contribute capital, but will be given equity. Respecting the reputations of our board members and conducting our business accordingly will be a core operating principle. I'm looking in the southern states for industry experts. I'd like to talk and interview industry expert in, he listed the areas uh, and listed it as industry again. Are there any members you might know that we would consider to be an industry expert and it would be a good fit to be connected with? I appreciate your time for hearing the message. Thank you. Okay, so he's listed everything that's important. He's listed the key points. That's all good. But think about this. First of all, this is an introductory message. And what does this person that he's contacting do? They run an association of industries. So they have members. Probably their number one priority is the membership of that group, getting more members, making sure the members are getting value, et cetera, et cetera. But this message, and this good guy who, who did this, but it's indicative of a problem I see all the time. His message is all about him, what's important to him, what he's looking for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And when we went through this as a hot seat, what I said to him is, if your goal is to talk to this person and eventually get to every single thing you mentioned in this, which is absolutely where he wants to get to, wouldn't a better message be concentrate on what's important to this person you're talking to and then say to them, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm interested in learning more about your association. If you could give me a buzz, I'd appreciate it. That's it. Now that goes to one of the core uh, things that this person is interested in, membership, and almost certainly he will get a phone call. Now, when he gets a phone call, you basically want to be sure that you haven't misled him with some message just to get a return phone call. But in this case, he can. He can say that he's looking in this area where this person is located uh, at the specific industry that this person is interested in. He might be interested in joining the uh, association, but he'd like to learn more about what they do, the membership, et cetera, et cetera. So that's fine. And, but I think the really important message in this whole thing is to remember, it's not about what's important to you. It's what's important to the other person. And if you think about that in every email, every communication you have uh, with someone on the other end, whether that's LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you will find that it's much, much better. He mentioned something in here that we put in the LinkedIn messages, which was that uh, founding board members will never be asked for capital and will be given a small piece of equity. That's really important also because too often we end up contacting someone. They feel like their brain is being picked without any benefit to them. So stating that up front gives that person a reason, huh, there might actually be something in this for me. So I hope that helps. Remember, put in your all your messages and think about what's important to the other person. And ultimately, that will bring you back to what's important to you. But that first step is really critical. Hope that's helpful.